The active pose tool is a great tool. It's right here. It's the bone with the arrow next to it. The hotkeys for it are Alt, Shift, and P. And you'll want to bring up your tool settings right here and have it docked. With this tool you can grab your character, any bone, and start to drag them around to pose. But you can see things can get kind of crazy pretty quick. So let's hit Control shift f to bring our character back to zero. And let's lock some bones first. So select any bone and toggle pin right there. So that is now pinned. Now you can pull your character around and it's going to stay locked right here. What I've done, hit F3 and go to Power Pose and right click and change keyboard shortcut and hit Space. Or whatever key you want to use. That just makes it real easy to go in, lock, bones or unlock them. And I have these set up to lock both at the front and at the end. That just helps keep them really rigidly in place. So you can see once you get something that you like you can lock that position and keep moving other bones and it's not going to affect anything else. Again, let's bring it back to zero and unpin all. Another tool I use in tandem with this is right here, the pose tool. And with this, you can click any bone and manipulate it with the rotation right here. And these three rings can solo out the which rotation you want. And right here, you can restore your figure pose or Let's say you have something going on and you like the legs but you don't like the upper body. You can just select, control select, control select, and then go here, restore selected item pose. So it'll restore everything that you didn't like. Or you can just do it, select over here in your hierarchy. Another cool way to kind of get some organic movement, you can select multiple bones and manipulate it with the pose tool. And you can see you can get these really organic looking motions and movements. And one more note while I'm thinking about it, if you do want more fine control over something, hit shift and it will bring up the translation tool and you can drag the translation that you want. Anyway, this was just a quick look at the Active Pose tool. If you're really serious about posing and working in Daz Studio, you really need to do some studying. You should study figure drawing, study photography, study art, study film. Know your focal points. Be able to pick out the center of gravity on your pose. Look for lines of action. Pay attention to your negative space. Get to know framing. Get to know timing. Get to know action. All these things can make you a better user of Daz Studio. Again, Daz Studio is just a tool. It's a paintbrush. The art doesn't come out of Daz Studio. The art comes out of the person holding the brush.